This is our Cabana Bay family suite, which we have already diligently moved into. So it has a little fridge. Babe, can you open the fridge? Which we've stocked already. It has a microwave. I think this is the connecting door. I'm not sure. I don't want to open it. It has a little sink. And over here, we have two seats. A nice light, kind of like a little bar area. Breakfast nook. This is a pull-out couch slash bed. TV. It's a mess already, I know. <clears throat> there are kids here, so. Two little stools. And then, come in through here, and this is the bedroom area. It has this partition. Oh, separating. Oh, my God. I don't have any arm strength. <laughs> and then some drawers, which I also don't have enough arm strength to close. So this is what it looks like. And then it also has a separate TV and a closet, a walk-in closet, very spacious. I think this is my niece's crib. I'm pretty sure that's her crib. Um, and I don't, I can't see a, I don't see Huh, a safe, but it's probably here somewhere. Or maybe it's this? I don't know. Anywho, and then uh, this is the vanity area. I am in a Universal Studios hotel with my, let me show you guys better through here, with my Disney Wine and Dine 10K shirt, repping Disney even at Universal. Um, okay, and then last but not least, the, it's another sink. I didn't even realize there were two sinks, so I guess it's, like, divided here. And then your bathtub, which is very cute. It's a very blue tropical theme here. And, um, yeah, so this is the family suite. It's on the first floor, and it is a pool view because the pool is right out there literally just just there and then I think Volcano Bay is on the other side which we'll show you now when we walk you got a key? yeah it's in my 2102 is our room she has and now we're gonna go to the pool and take that um, we just got here at around 4 and um we're staying at the Cabana Bay with my mother and my sister and brother-in-law and my nieces. And we have never stayed there before, so I am going to take you around. We are going to take you around and show you everything that we'll we see. <laughs> They have a washing, oh, it's a washer and dryer area. Look at that. These are the cabanas. There's no one in there though. Cause that one has a TV on. So I just wanted to show the other one has towels, menus, 
The Atomic Grill. So I guess the Atomic Grill is the... Poppin' Place. The what? The Poppin' Place? The Poppin' Place. The Poppin' Place. It's the place for the outside. The cabanas are really cool. They kind of go with the theme. So one of the reasons why I really, really love Orlando is because everything is themed and I'm such a big, I guess, a themeaholic, you could say. I love anything that has like, like its own, I don't know. Oh look, a ping pong table. Like I love how Disney has a Polynesian and everything there is Hawaiian or like French Polynesian. And I love how this is all themed like tropical, kind of reminds me of Cuba. It's very tropical and it's like 1950s, 60s style. So I am really into this, just like I'm really into any themed type of resort. Um, and this is really cool. Wait, does it remind you of Cuba? It's like, it's Cabana Bay. Go ahead. <laughs> You're welcome. It's Cabana, like it's a beach, and then it has like the 1950s cars. It reminds me of like Cuba in the 50s. Like when Cuba was uh, thriving, for lack of better words, when it was thriving. It reminds me of that. You weren't born in the 50s either, so what is he know? He's just cute. Simpsons um, donut and his beer. Look, this is from The Simpsons. It's his like little beer cap. Yeah. Duh. How cute. And Dr. Seuss, I love Dr. Seuss. Their clips. This is beachy stuff. Guys, every time I see the word dakine or dakine, which is, I think it's Hawaiian, Samoan. It reminds me of Dog the Bounty Hunter because his thing was called Dakine Bail Bonds. <laughs> huh? Those are nice. I like the ones you had on. Okay, so this is the Starbucks that's still downstairs. 
And here is a cute little lagoon. And when you go up the stairs, you get to the second floor. It's really pretty. I think that the cafeteria is down there. I mean, yeah, down there somewhere. So once you reach the top, you have the Galaxy Bowl. says Jack LaLanne Physical Fitness Studio. And if you don't know who Jack LaLanne is, he is kind of a, a fitness personality from um, the 60s. And um, I think he passed away maybe less than 10 years ago. And um, he, I remember him specifically from these commercials where you would, uh, he would like, him and his wife would put vegetables inside of like this fruit processor. And I really remember him from that, but. Um, this is his fitness studio, and I really like how it ties in with the theme here of the hotel and these plants. I swear to God, these plants are freaking me out, you guys. I've never seen plants inside of a gym. I guess you could just grab your food and then sit here and there are a lot of seats it's really spacious here I'm sure that during the day especially tomorrow being a Saturday this is gonna be completely packed and they have a place to put your tray that's awesome it's like supposedly their version of the mini maybe like the mini thing look at this car look at this car Wow. Oh, it has little bags inside. 
Like their little luggage that's so adorable. This is a Chevy. Do not touch the car. Look at all the. This is so cool, guys. I love that. We got the spicy tuna roll at the Bayliner Diner. It looks normal. It doesn't look out of this world. Chris is mixing our wasabi, but all of the sure. sauce. Yeah, all the sauce went everywhere. Um, so we're gonna let you know how it is. How is it? It's good? Very tasty. It's good. I had one. It's not It's not the best, obviously. It's not gonna be the best. It's coming from a hotel diner, but... Thank you. But... But it's not bad. No two thumbs up, but a one thumbs up. Especially if you're really hungry. Put on the fire pits at night time. This part is really cool. This one, is, this part of the hotel is called the Continental. And um, this part's pretty neat because it has sand. I mean, I don't know who'd want to get out of the pool and then get into a sandy pit. But maybe this is just for like tanning and stuff. It looks really nice though. It's very romantic, huh baby? And then... I think this is the part that's closest, yes, this is the part that's closest to Volcano Bay because you could see Volcano Bay right, right there. There it is. That's the actual volcano from Volcano Bay, guys, which I have not gone to Volcano Bay yet, so I'm hoping my mister will take me there to Volcano Bay eventually. We just really haven't had the time because... We're usually doing something during the summer and we haven't really had the time to go to Volcano Bay. I think we tried to go last year or something, but never planned out. So maybe this year for this summer we'll be able to go. This is a small pool and this is called the Americana. So I guess each building is named something. The Continental, the Americana, the Starlight, so on and so forth. And this is called the Hideaway. This one's really nice. It looks so, this reminds me of like my grandparents' house. Like low ceilings, very 70s. Like. I like this one better. Yeah, I like this. I don't like the pool as much as the other one, but I do like the bar here a lot. It's dark, it's like a cave. Step in there. Why they have like cave? Oh, I guess it was called the Flamingo. Or yeah, or or there was like a specialty drink and they don't have it anymore. And they also have something here. What's this? I love how these low lights on wood, like the um, recessed lights, I love how they look on wood. It's very 60s. And they have a little grill out here. Wow. Very nice. And this is, I don't know what, I think this is, oh, these are like the Volcano Bay facing hotels. And that is the jacuzzi and it is packed. There's a lot of people in the jacuzzi. It is not that cold out, but uh, it is a all time favorite. Very beautiful. <laughs> 